Welcome everyone. So I'm going to go over um, the editing of one of my images from my winter Benihi that was taken in January 2021. Benihi um, is a very local hill to mine. It's the highest point uh, from the kind of northeast of Scotland, known as the Grampian Mountains, and start of that. Um, I actually climbed up to what's called the Oxen Craig Summit, which is the highest summit. Um, and then I wanted to get a photograph looking towards what's called Mither Tap, which is the more iconic viewpoint of Ben He, where most people tend to walk up. But Oxen Craig, um, Ben He's actually made up of three or four different hills, but from uh, almost at sea level or down uh, ground level, it looks as as long, um, sorry, as one long hill. So um, I'm up at Oxen Craig, which is the highest point, looking over towards Mither Tap. This was my sixth attempt in a couple of weeks, um, especially when there's been snow. It was up to about three foot in some places of snow. We had quite heavy winds. It was very icy underneath. We had all the proper gear and uh, very well wrapped up. And I was able to kind of sit in the snow, anchor the tripod and wait about an hour um, as a cloud, low level cloud kind of drifted in and out and eventually it revealed uh, Ben he but as you'll see from the image it is still quite hazy because of that cloud and but that morning light as the sun started to hit the horizon kind of started to burn away a lot of the clouds so I'm going to go over how I edited the image and uh, kind of take it from there so here we go so this is the image that we have from uh, Benny I'm going to first start off by um kind of cropping it and getting that that level straight and despite all my levels and the tripod and the camera saying that everything was straight it really wasn't so that was it so what I've also got is on the left hand side here I've built my uh, own or I'm still building actually my own presets and this is something that's going to be available very soon that you can um, get access to and and it basically is loads and loads and loads of shortcuts to make your editing a lot quicker so first of all I'm going to work with white balance now it was a particularly cloudy day and there was a lovely golden light coming through so adding something like the cloudy white balance here really kind of adds that color in uh, from where it was before without it put my lens correction on to sort all that and uh, we're now going to start with the exposure so i don't want to darken the image as such i want to kind of actually almost lighten it now i have points on the left hand side here like uh, exposure of half a stop but i do think i'm even going to bring it down less than that even to like 0.25 of a stop just there okay same with the contrast kind of bring that contrast in now i normally add quite a lot of contrast to my images but i really feel this image doesn't need too much um i think even just around about 20 mark for the contrast now highlights we're going to bring the highlights right down kind of retain that detail in the sky so as i slide this back and forward you can see as normal and then bring it right down to minus 100 you can see in the right hand side of this image that there's more detail coming into the sky i'm going to lift the shadows to the right i really want to bring out that detail the foreground just in front of me so it's that little tree I take that shadow away I really like this little tree, especially the, the top branch looking almost like a cross there as well. And uh, that was quite, quite good. We'll work on the shadows, we are done. And then the whites just to kind of bring that white down just a little bit to the right, just again to kind of keep that detail in. But I don't want to bring it down too much. It darkens the image too much there. And again, just those blacks, just a little bit there. Add a little bit of texture, not too much i think you can go overboard with the texture and just add a little bit like the clarity images if it needs it it only needs a little bit and then that little bit of dehaze but we're gonna actually specialize the dehaze in more specific areas so there we go so already that's kind of coming out really nice okay so first thing we're going to work on is the sky Okay, so we have this lovely sky, got the color coming in, really hazy. Uh, it could benefit from just lifting that a little bit. So I'm gonna use a gradient tool and bring it right down to just below Benihi. And then bring the second line right down to just almost a horizon there. Now, 
this gradient tool is going to affect the tree and it's going to affect Benny He itself and I really don't want it to. So I'm going to hit the brush tool on the right hand side. I'm going to go to erase and I'm going to select the mask overlay and I'm going to erase everything on the tap itself. Just like that. all that redness away from there. I do leave a little thin line just on the top just to help with that blending. There we go. And I'm gonna also do the tree as well because we don't want to really darken this tree any more than what's been done before. Now I do have the auto mask set so it's really good at picking up the difference between the sky and that tree. And now the cross. I don't have the straightest of hands, but we can tweak that after if we need to. Bring that bit back in just a little bit. There we go, that looks good. Now I'm actually going to add a little bit more to the horizon in the back here of the land. There we go. Just because that land is going to be also needs to be edited. go that looks great take the mask overlay off and go back to edit and now we're just going to first of all dehaze darken that image but not too much add that contrast reduce the highlights just to give that sky bring out the color in that sky just that little bit Don't want too much we don't want to make it too unbelievable just edit so it comes through just enough that's looking not too bad quite happy with that might revisit that afterwards now we're going to edit the tap itself um again we're going to select the overlay and just color in the tap There we go. So same again, just going to introduce that dehaze a little bit. I want to darken with the tap just a little bit. Now there's a lot of side light hitting the summit on the right hand side and the left hand side is going to be that little bit darker. What we also have though is, because there's a lot of cloud coming in and out, you've actually got this, this kind of cloud coming in in the middle here that's over the summit and puts a bit of a line down there but I don't I don't want to really take that out you could sit there and edit it but and blend it all together but I, I really don't want to do that I just want to add a little bit of detail and kind of remove that haze just a little bit in Benihi it's looking good a little bit too much Excellent. So now we've done that. Now we've done that. What you are going to see though is my sensor is really dirty um, and I actually need to kind of um, remove those dust spots. So the first thing I'm going to do is just crop it down a little bit. So I'm going to take the horizon and bring that to that kind of third line so two thirds is going to mainly be the sky a little bit at the top of the middle of the tap and the tree and then one third is really broken up with with the ground and it also allows me to take away this right hand side the snow drift or probably some heather here with snow on it it's just kind of a bit uh, distracting so i want to remove that and crop that down there we go and then that means i'm only going to really um 
remove the dust spots in this part of the image. So first thing is I'm going to put on the visualize spots and this will show me where all those dust spots are and you can see them, these little marks right here. And we're just going to click on each one of these to remove them and then we'll then go into the image afterwards and just adjust it. Now this is something that I will actually go into Photoshop afterwards and really close in and try and remove any excess uh, dust spots that I might have. But I will scroll through it. So the next thing I'm going to do is sharpening is added to the image. I'm going to reduce that sharpening and actually just increase that luminance just a little bit. Take away a little bit of that digital grain, that noise. Final tweak of the image. And we're adding the color profile for the landscape. It just does saturate that image a little bit. So I'm going to remove the saturation down and that vibrance just a few bits. I don't want it to be too oversaturated. And I think that is looking not too bad. Go back into the gradient tool, the brush. A, and I'm just going to fill in under these trees just a little bit. And there we go. So we can kind of see before and after. And on the left hand side, edited image. On the right hand side, the before image. So you'll see what I mean by that little cloud over here kind of showing onto down the side of really Mother Tap. Now I say I could airbrush that out and blend it all together, but to be brutally honest, it's part of the image. And that's what it is. So there we go. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed that editing and um, learned something from it. If you have any questions, please pop them in the description below. Uh, comments, message me, anything you have. Uh, and again, I'll um, announce these presets when they are completely finished as well. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.